Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop stop for all technologies. As part of this video, under HDP Certified Developer Playlist, um, I will be talking about uh, introduction to scoop uh, in data ingestion. So if you see, there are multiple tasks related to scoop. There is a task to import the results of a query from a relational database into HDFS, which means that you should run a scoop command using query. Uh, there is a task uh, to import data from a table in a relational database into HDFS. So you just have to copy a table by using table parameter uh, in scoop from uh, MySQL to HDFS. There is a task of importing a table from a relational database into a new or existing hive table. And also uh, they are talking about insert or update data from HDFS into a table in a relational database. So uh, for all previous uh, uh, previous tasks, uh, starting from uh, this one to this one, these three tasks are scoop import and this one is scoop export. And uh, uh, it is uh, very important to understand scoop in depth, which I have already covered, um, uh, which you will be using as part of this playlist. So if you see the playlist of Hadoop certifications, uh, HDP certified developer, no Java, uh, which, uh, which is the one uh, uh, covering this uh, uh, certification. You can see that I have already added the videos starting from scoop basic uh, commands to the uh, most advanced commands. It includes scoop import, it includes scoop export, it includes scoop uh, uh, delimiters, it includes scoop file formats. Everything that is related to scoop is covered here. And you should have knowledge of all these things to perform well in the exam. So to get the code base, you can go to my GitHub account. under code Hadoop EDW HDP so there is a directory called scoop and you can see the code base here but in all the videos um, there are uh, some differences um, in the scripts which I have used in the videos and the code uh, I am showing here when I be uh, prepared those videos I have prepared using um, a Cloudera VM. Uh, in this case, I am using Hortonworks VM uh, for HDP certification. So for that purpose, uh, the primary change between the videos and uh, 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 the content in the video and the code is the host name. So in the videos, you see uh, quickstart.cloudera.com, whereas uh, in the code, you will see sandbox hortonworks.com even the code base in the videos show for cloudera version so instead of going through cloudera you should just use hortonworks version of the code base so the first thing is the ip address and the second thing is the hive location so in cloudera quick start vm it uses the default warehouse directory user hive warehouse whereas in Hortonworks, they use a different directly directory called slash apps slash hive slash warehouse. So these two are the major differences, uh, and also uh, password is also different. In Cloudera version, it was Cloudera. Here it is Hadoop uh, to connect to the MySQL database. And also before uh, proceeding further and executing uh, these commands, make sure you create the return underscore DBA database in uh, MySQL uh, database on Sandbox uh, as shown in the as shown in this uh, video set, setting up retail underscore db database if you don't do this uh, step then your import commands and export commands will not work so the order is first set up the database 
and then start watching the videos but wherever you have to execute the code go to my github account to the location uh, hadoop pw hdp scoop scoop demo dot txt and start executing these scripts other than that and the content is same you will learn all the things they are asking as part of the uh, certification curriculum uh, so for example uh, uh, this talks about importing data from a table in a relational database into hdfs which means it's a, a scoop import using table parameters if you go to the code base uh, you can see most of the things use table and then they are asking also about query so you can search for minus minus query in the code base uh, so for scoop import we are also passing the query and uh, uh, getting the data from uh, uh, mysql into hdfs and the third one is importing a table from a relational database into a new or high existing hive table if you go through the code there is a hive import also you can see that import all tables hive import um, create hive table to create um, if the table does not exist so that uh, uh, is also covered as part of the uh, code base and videos and then finally insert or update data from hdfs into a table in a relational database which which is other way around and if you go to the code base and if you search for scoop export you will see uh, multiple commands uh, which shows several examples of scoop export so make sure you watch all the videos and learn um, uh, and get better with scoop it is very important and uh, it uh, if you make a mistake it's very tough to troubleshoot in the at the time of the certification so be very careful make sure uh, uh, you understand the syntax how to get the help uh, using scoop command itself and the re relevance of ip addresses uh, you should not use localhost as part of your uh, scoop commands you should use the ip address of the mysql database and the port number they give the default port number is 3306 if they uh, specify a different port number uh, on which MySQL database is running, you should use that port number, not 3306. So you should know the relevance of those things um, uh, while uh, uh, giving the certification. So practice very well and make sure you understand scoop uh, and then uh, go to the next uh, uh, level of videos. That being said, when you try to run the scoop export commands, uh, there are some issues uh, with the existing uh, uh, MySQL connector. So when you try to use scoop, you are using uh, uh, JDBC URL, which means that you have to have a JDBC jar. And uh, the JDBC jar is available in, uh, uh, in the VM under LS, under user share java mysql you can see and uh, that jdbc connectors are there and uh, uh, you can see that uh, the soft link is to 5.1.31 uh, bin dot jar and this uh, uh, to run the scoop this uh, jar file has to be there in the scoop li libraries also so for that you can run this command find slash name mysql jar hit enter so you can actually check this as well to confirm with, uh, to which uh, jar it is pointing to you can see that the jar in the scoop li library is pointing to this location uh, user share java uh, connector java dot jar which is nothing but this one and this is pointing to this one and when you run scoop import with this jar uh, if you if you are importing a lot of data uh, then there is a chance that uh, the import will fail with a error as shown here you can see that uh, it is throwing an exception and uh, job is failing after uh, importing several tables 
Um, so to fix this, what you have to do is you have to download the latest version of the jar file. Right now the uh, version is uh, 5.1.31 uh, which is being used which is throwing this exception. So to fix this you just have to download the latest version. So you can go to uh, Google and search for MySQL connector 5.1.36 ok so this is the uh, uh, version we need and then you can actually uh, click on this link there is a download button here you can right click on it copy link location and then uh, go to the terminal uh, and log into the sandbox and then you can say wget minus o user share java this is the file name so i'm copying the file name and hit enter now the file is being copied to this location once the file is copied you have to unlink the existing uh, uh, existing soft link and then you have to recreate a, a new uh, you have to recreate the soft link pointing to the latest version of uh, connector jar file so which i will be doing now just type unlink and paste the uh, path it will be unlinked and then you have to run ln space minus s ok and first you have to give the actual jar file name this is the jar file name for which we are trying to create the soft link and this is the soft link name I have to have a space here and hit enter now the soft link is created now you can try running the scoop import again so I am running this command scoop import uh, all tables where is it yeah I will be running this command Okay, so it takes JDBC connectivity to connect to the database. These are the database credentials and we are saving as our data file which we understand by going through the videos. This is just the demonstration uh, to, uh, to kick start your scoop uh, learning. So don't worry if you don't understand this command. It will be covered. Uh, it is co already covered in the subsequent videos and hit enter. It will take a while. Uh, we will see after everything is executed if there are any others which I have seen uh, last time when I was running with the older version of jar file. So still it is failed. The reason is um, uh, if you run this command find mysql star and then pass it on to xarx and see the properties of the mysql connector uh, in most of the cases uh, the mysql connector is a copy of the older version so it's better to uh, fix uh, this mysql connector and uh, then run the scoop import okay so what i will be doing is especially the libraries under uh, uh, slash user hdp all this should be pointing to uh, 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 pointing to the latest version of uh, My mysql connector dot java especially hadoop lib hadoop yarn lib and hive lib let's uh, let's do that so cp user share java mysql connector 5.1.36 let's use the latest one and then paste it into this one yes 
and also CP and uh, then here you can leave high for now so Hadoop and Hadoop yarn you should replace and now if you run find command and hit enter you can see that Hadoop and Hadoop yarn is pointing to the latest version by the size and also we should be careful about the owner also to avoid any confusion owner is root and root here so that's fine so we are good now so let me clean it up and rerun it again so I'm deleting the target directory which is used in the import, import statement and now I will be running the scoop import all tables again and we will see the results after it is ran so now you can see that it is successful all the tables are uh, copied there are six tables in MySQL. You can also validate by running Hadoop FS minus LS uh, apps hive warehouse retail underscore db dot db and hit enter. Retail underscore stage, sorry. And hit enter. You can see all the tables here. So uh, that being said, make sure you um, uh, you point uh, your MySQL connector to the latest version, not the 17. I think even with 31, it will work. Uh, the uh, the error was due to um, due to the MySQL connector under uh, Hadoop and Hadoop Yarn are pointing to the older version of uh, MySQL connector. That's why it was failing. After fixing it it will work and uh, also make sure you understand the code base it's in my github account github.com code hadoop edw for hortonworks you should use this one even the videos are pointing to the cloud cloud version uh, you just go to hdp scoop and scoop underscore demo dot txt and start executing all the scripts most of them will work if you if it fail just post a comment i will uh, either fix the code or come up with the solution um, but uh, i have tested some of the scripts and it is working that being said um, best of luck in learning scoop a very important component of the certification uh, i think uh, you will get at least uh, two questions on scoop as part of the certification out of seven or eight questions i think and uh, uh, so make sure you you master it uh, there is no shortcuts that being said i hope you enjoy the content on the channel especially this uh, video if you like the video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video and if you want to discuss further on the certifications uh, you join my linkedin group called it varsity hadoop certifications So this is the LinkedIn group. Here we can discuss anything related to Hadoop certifications. And uh, finally, if you are not uh, subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.